What's up everybody, I'm the Mangus, you are awesome, and Shimbi has been added to Predecessor. She was one of my favorites back in the old Paragon days, and she's shaping up to be one of my favorites in Predecessor. While I do have a few very minor complaints about her, she's really fun to play. Her animations are awesome, her visual effects are great, and her sound effects aren't bad either. I know people are going to talk shit about her sound effects, but I think they're fine, dude. The only reason they sound off is because they aren't exactly what they were in Paragon. I think if predecessor sound effects were first, you would think the Paragon's ones were weird. Anyway, if I have any advice for, for playing her, it's to use Soul Bearer as your crest. The extra shielding um, with the lifesteal that, that you'll be building and the movement speed are very nice on her. As far as the build goes, just... Anything with the word binder in the title and you'll be good. So life binder, dream binder, both very good items on her. I'm not too sure about the build order yet, but at least for offlane, leveling circle rhythm worked for me. I will be cutting some of the gameplay out of this one since there was like a solid 15 minutes of just boring offlane farming. Uh, anyway, like the video if you enjoy it, sub for more third person MOBA content. But for now, let's play some shit be. We're coming in the lane. I have line beat upgraded and it's same, same as always with should be in any game paragon over prime or predecessor you want to try and hit the enemy laner while also hitting the minions and uh barring if you if you stand to the side like that then um don't try too hard just hit the minions i'm trying to get my last hits he comes in double chops me i have no tools right now to get away from this so i had to pop my uh my mana potion i know i can't compete with a grox in a basic attack uh battle right now and my little line beats are not going to do enough to, 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 to back him off so he hard, hard bullies me here at first, but um, he, d he never does quite get the kill, but man, he had me pushed under my tower for a pretty good long time, so uh, pretty boring to watch, so we'll skip ahead to when I actually have a little bit of abilities and I can do something to contend with this Grux. Back in lane with all my abilities, and I've got a, I'm building into Lifebinder for the lifesteal, and uh... I mean, I think that's really good on Shibby since her, her E gives you shielding now instead of lifesteal. And the Grux engages on me. He goes straight through my minions, activate the circle rhythm, dash through him, get another dash to deal some additional damage. And now this is where I realize I got something going here. Like, uh, you know, she ain't no fool. Uh, he, he was taking a lot of minion damage right there, but we've got a chance. Um, we can actually, we can, we can stick toe to toe with this Grux now that we have our abilities. Uh, not only are we sticking toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, we're bullying him a little bit now. Which is nice. It's nice to see a Grux get bullied in lane. Pushed up pretty far, been, uh, just, uh, again, just bullying this Grux, which, uh, really surprised me. Really surprised me that I was able to do that so much. And, uh, I'm hard leveling my E first for the extra shielding, the extra damage. And it, this Chimera, I have zero fear of this Chimera. If, if, if this Chimera jumps on me, and fucking people trying to surrender already. Look at that shit! Look at that shit! And, uh, yeah, we're, we're beating him down. We have our ultimate. It's only a seven-stack ultimate, but it wasn't anywhere close to killing him. Now Grux is coming in the mix, but uh, I don't think he wants none either. He knows now he's backing out whenever he sees the circle rhythm. So now I'm a little bit, I'm in a little bit of trouble. I'm in danger. But uh, we're just going to back out, hit him with the line beat, and we'll just circle rhythm up on him again. We're healing. Uh, we're, we're healing behind the shielding. He, uh, I still don't want to exchange basic attacks with freaking Grux, but... Um, Chimera comes in, it backs him off, so we're all good. Our, our jungler came in, helped us out, which is, uh, quite nice. Quite nice, because I was low on mana. Didn't really have enough mana to get the fuck out of there. And activated my healing potion just a little bit too late. Continuing to push this lane, I pushed up pretty far. I figure a ward is in order, so I put the ward down, and there's Grux! And as I mentioned, I am not afraid of this Grux right now. He did hit me with the smash and grab, but I was able to reactivate my dash to get out of it. He's swinging for the fences over there. I don't really care that much. He has his ultimate, but um, yeah, we, we got just so much damage, so much healing, so much shielding. I hit him with the uh, with the all kill, hoping that would finish him off. He dashes under the tower. I don't know how that second dash didn't hit, but then he bring around the Rosies me, and I died to how being a freaking idiot. It's the only time I, time I die in this game, I promise. I swear. I wasn't even trying to record my mic during this game, but uh, you can still hear how angry I was at failing to get that kill. We're playing a little bit of footsies in mid. I'm trying to land wolves while not getting hooked by Richter. <laughs> that would be bad, especially what should be. Uh, if he ults me, I'm, if he hooks me and ults me, I'm just absolutely dead. I see that the Grux is uh, slipping off to the side. He slips off to the side through the, through, the, through the shadow well, and I know what he's trying to do. 
So I'll come over. I went to place a ward just in case, but he's right there. So we activate the circle rhythm, dash into him. He activated his ultimate, activate my ultimate, and Murdoch ends up getting the kill. I think our ultimate actually would have finished him off, but um, still, it's cool that Murdoch got the kill. I'm, I'm freaking fine with that. I don't care. I, I don't sit there and act like people are kill stealing whenever they get a kill. As long as that kill is secured, I don't mind. So uh, now we're, uh, we got a lot more pressure now that the Grux is gone, but the enemy should be steps up. I'm trying to deal a little bit of damage to her. She uses her ultimate on her Murdoch, not quite enough to take him out. And we're just going to sit here and push in. Um, I'm going to step step off to the side, get me some mana back. Just one line beat is enough to secure that. Gideon with a massive ultimate. And uh, I kind of stole a kill from him as I threw that line beat through, hoping to get everybody. I uh, picked up the sparrow on the back end. Wasn't even aiming at her, but uh, we'll take it. We'll take what we can get. As I've established, I'm not afraid of this Grux, but he's done a really good job of um, not getting hit by my by my Wolves. So it looks like our enemy team, our, well, our, our enemy team, our friendly team is backing off. Look at the line beat. The line beat's starting to deal some damage. So we'll go ahead back out, um, and we're going to pick up. So our, our crest is complete. You can tell but the, the crest is complete. You saw those white lines circling around it. We're going to finish off Dream Binder for now. And when you're building Shimby, any kind of binder is good. And I'm picking up Soul Bearer. Soul Bearer is so good on Shimby. This is the one that gives you movement speed and a, uh, a shield based on your mana. With her, uh, with the life steal that you're going to build on her inherently through Life Binder and the shielding that she already has, this item is absolutely nuts. And if you see the the purple glow around my sword, that means that her passive is active, and then I'm going to deal extra magical damage on the next hit. Should be Hallmark right there. Pick up a double kill because you stood around people with your circle rhythm active. I was looking forward to some hot shimby on shimby action and then Richter showed up. So I decided to peace out and bam, he hits me with a gorgeous hook and then silences me and then ults me. But I activate the soul bearer. I activate my, my right click or my, my, my circle rhythm. And she's getting stacks upon stacks on me. I'm very worried that she's about to ult me. So I'm backing out. I know she still has the stacks on me. And I activated my E just in time to save me. That was a gangster gamer move right there. To save me from getting killed by her uh, by her all kill. Thank God my E was available. Pop a casual Q on <laughs> Chimera to take him down. Big pull from Grux, but Gideon ults. And now they're in a lot of trouble. I'm going to try to dash through them and deal a bunch of damage. I wasn't sure. I thought I had enough wolf stacks on Sparrow, and I did. I had enough wolf stack, stacks on Sparrow to take her out. And now you're going to get another kill on the uh, Richter. Actually, I don't think we got that kill, but we did pick up the Sparrow. Uh, that was very nicely done by our team. This Gideon was uh, out of his mind good. I'm going to wait and snag this river buff, even though I don't really need it, you know, like an asshole. And as we're, we see Sparrow going in towards Fang Pit, activate our circle rhythm. Luckily, Richter missed his E, but he silences me, and that hurts so bad. But I know I have a bunch of stacks on Sparrow, and the all kill is enough to take her down. The, the beauty of Shimby. You don't got to be anywhere near him to kill him. And now we're just kind of on the hunt. We're on the prowl right now. Um, 
I was, you know, limit testing at first a little bit with Shimbi. I was a little scared of that Grux, but uh, after I realized how freaking strong she was, and now that I have uh, Life Binder and Dream Binder, I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't afraid of nothing. I ain't scared of nothing. So, Chimera and I are going to go ahead and take this Tier 2 tower. You love to see a friendly team that knows when to go for the throat. We've got a whole minion wave coming up. This inhibitor should be a very easy take for us. And, and luckily, Chimera was thinking the same thing. Actually, I think he was thinking it harder than me. He went in even before I did. So very nicely done. And we take an inhibitor pretty early on. Uh, maybe for 26 minutes. That's not that early. But I, I was happy about it, especially after just getting a tier two. And then we push straight to the inhibitor. This is quite nice. Quite nice. An allied inhibitor is under I wanted to keep the snowball going and attack Fangtooth. Uh, I was going to wait for Chimera, but I think I could probably just take it by myself. Like, I have so much healing and so much damage. It doesn't seem like it's going to be that big of a problem. So, um, I don't think we ever got the, the, pro the Primordial Fangtooth in this one. I have seen it in a game or two, and it's uh, pretty cool. And it does a shitload of damage. I don't think that you can just... I would definitely not be trying to solo the Primordial Fangtooth. But, um, yeah, we took that one pretty easy. So now, the next one that spawns will be a Primordial. So, because we have two, the enemy team has one. Now the next one, the third one, the well, the fourth one that spawns will be a Primordial. We're going to go ahead and take Oblivion Crown to give us that extra, little extra damage. Um, building into Megacosm in case somebody gets away with just a little bit of health after I use my ultimate. Uh, I think I decided, I, I made a switch halfway through and decided that I wanted Combustion instead. But um, I think either one would be good on her, Megacosm or Combustion. Um, maybe combustion just for that burst would would possibly be better. I'm not sure. If you do build Megacosm, I would build it fairly early so that if you're going to go with a more of a poke build, if you're going to go with her Q, level her Q instead of her E, but I went, I went hard E. I went hard E this time. That Grux was like, no sir, and they saw, <laughs> they, they, they saw Richter show up. Uh, I don't know how he caught me with that shit. Um, that was an unnecessary ultimate, but uh, we did we did pick up the kill. Uh, I don't think we really needed it. I thought I saw somebody through that shadow bu bush, but I, that, that shadow wall, but I guess not. burn from that from that Richter uh, we had to activate our soul bearer and uh, we did ended up getting the kill on the chimera somehow in the midst of all of that and we we're able to get away scot-free um, kind of left my sparrow hanging but uh, I can only save myself I can't really save her I ain't got no stuns I mean I got I got dream binder so I can slow but that's about all I can do trying to push in for the win without a care in the world we see that the uh, other shimmy comes in Double dash on her. I didn't mean the double dash right there. The the double dash has a fucking hair trigger on it. Uh, <laughs> it dashes so fast. And we see that she's she's healing up too. So this uh, enemy shimmy is also pretty damn strong. But I think I'm a little bit stronger at this point in the game. Hitting the uh, line beats on her pretty pretty good. Um, the, the stacks are going to drop off. I'm not going to be able to really do anything here. But um, that was a good little trade. A good little little shimby trade right there but and, uh she had to back out so we're just going to go ahead and keep pushing this lane in try and take this inhibitor uh, we've got one down it'd be nice to have two down Enemy team starting to rally up, so I figured, let's see how easy this camp is to take. I don't know if he just wasn't taking this camp throughout the match, but that seemed stupid easy. Now the enemy should be pressed up. Let's try and circle around the backside. 
put a wolf up her backside. I have no idea where she is. There she is. And uh, you can see, I'm doing so much damage to her. And just not enough, though. Just not enough to finish up that kill. But Chimera comes leaping out of nowhere and finishes her off for me. Appreciate it, Chimera. Uh, if I would have had Mega Cosm right there, she would have died. That's kind of the um, the reason you would build Mega Cosm, I think. Uh, other than the, the, the quick poke early game. The... Uh, Enhancing your poke in the early game, but uh still that was that was quite that was pretty nice That was a lot of freaking damage sad that it didn't kill her, but oh well, what can you do? And I don't know what this chimera is thinking. I am Stupid dangerous right now. It's because he had the grux with him, but I don't think that's gonna help him out too much I'm pretty low on mana, but I'm, I'm shielding and life stealing through everything like it ain't nothing Sparrow picks up the kill on the grux now we did have a, a double ADC lane for duo, which I get, you know, whatever. I've seen a lot of crazy shit today. Seen a lot of crazy shit today, but um, it, it worked out for us this time, I guess. The the game I had prior to this was like we had two ADCs in the mid lane, one ADC and a support in the duo lane, and no jungle. And it was fucking terrible. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pick up this inhibitor, and uh, this is gonna this is gonna be the end, I do believe. It's gonna try and push our minions up into this uh into this core and the enemy should be trying to dash in i tried to hit her with a one wolf <laughs> all kill for the kill <laughs> it just wasn't quite enough but uh we do it we do end up killing her anyway and there we go there's the win uh should be very good build anything with binder in the title use so uh use uh the soul thing whatever the <laughs> the card that gives you the shield soul bearer that's what it's called and then um yeah, just a really good hero. I, her right click seems to have a hair trigger. You you double right click sometimes when you don't mean to, and I think there needs to be some sort of splash effect whenever she lands her Q because early game you can't differentiate your damage from the minion damage on heroes. But uh, that is going to be it for the old mangoose. You guys have a good one. Mangoose.